Carol Baskin is an American big cat rights activist and CEO of Big Cat Rescue, a nonprofit animal sanctuary based near Tampa, Florida. Baskin drew public attention when she was featured in the 2020 Netflix documentary series Tiger King about Oklahoma based private zoo operator Joe Exotic. The Netflix series follows both Baskin and Joe Exotic, as well as exotic animal owner Doc Antle filming their ongoing and escalating feuds over exotic animals in private zoos. Following the release of the series, Baskin has been the subject of internet memes and conspiracy theories related to the disappearance of Don Lewis, her second husband. Her catchphrase Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Also became a meme as a result of the documentary. Aside from Tiger King, Baskin is also well known for her appearance on Dancing with the Stars, featuring her dancing to a cover of the song Eye of the Tiger. Chapter 1, Early Life Carol Stairs Jones was born on June 6, 1961, on the Lackland Air Force Base in Bear County, Texas. She expressed an interest in saving cats when she was nine, but she decided against pursuing a career in veterinary medicine after she learned that veterinarians euthanize animals. She dropped out of high school and left home with a local roller rink employee. Baskin then hitchhiked back and forth between Florida and Bangor, Maine, sleeping under parked cars. She later purchased a Datsun truck and slept in the back with her pet cat. Chapter 2 Career At the age of 17, Baskin worked at a Tampa department store. To make money, she began breeding show cats. She also began rescuing bobcats, and used llamas for a lawn trimming business. In January 1991, she married her second husband and joined his real estate business daughters Carol Lewis, she and her husband Don founded Wildlife on Easy Street, an animal sanctuary near Tampa for big cats, in 1992. She is the current chief executive officer of the sanctuary, which she renamed to Big Cat Rescue sometime after Lewis's disappearance in 1997. She has used social media such as Facebook and YouTube and her The Cat Chat podcast to promote activism against private zoos. The New York Times and The Hollywood Reporter have described her as an animal rights activist. In 2020, Baskin was cast in season 29 of Dancing with the Stars. On the series' September 14 season premiere she danced a Paso Doble with partner Pasha Pashkov to Survivor's Eye of the Tiger and they received a 11 out of a possible 30, the lowest cumulative score of the evening. Meanwhile, during the broadcast in select Florida television markets, including Tampa, Lewis' family and their attorney ran and appeared in a commercial spot asking for anyone with information on his disappearance to come forward and offered a $100,000 reward. Chapter 2 Section 1, Dancing with the Stars Chapter 3, Personal Life She moved in with Michael Murdoch, her boss at the department store where she worked, when she was 17. The couple married on April 7, 1979. Baskin has said that she never loved him and married him only because her parents were disappointed that they had been living together outside of marriage. She became pregnant soon after, and daughter Jamie Veronica Murdoch was born on July 16, 1980. According to Baskin, in 1981, when she was 19, she threw a potato at Murdoch as he attempted to attack her. She ran out of their home barefoot and met her next husband, Don Lewis, on Nebraska Avenue in Tampa. She and Lewis engaged in an affair while both were still married. She became one of Lewis's many girlfriends and substantially grew his wealth by helping him buy and sell real estate in 1984. The pair divorced their respective spouses and subsequently married in 1991. According to Baskin, Lewis was obsessed with sex and would frequently fly to Costa Rica, where he had substantial real estate holdings, to have affairs, timing the trips for whenever she was menstruating. In July 1997, Lewis filed a restraining order against her, claiming that she had threatened to kill him, the restraining order was rejected. Baskin claims that he filed the restraining order because she would haul off some of his junk property whenever he visited Costa Rica. Lewis continued to live with Baskin afterwards. Lewis told her multiple times that he wanted a divorce, 
but she did not think he was ever serious about it. She claimed he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder months before he vanished. Lewis disappeared in August 1997 and was declared legally dead in 2002. A dispute ensued between Baskin and the children of Lewis over his estate, with Baskin prevailing as the primary beneficiary. The case of Lewis' disappearance is still active as of early 2021. She met Howard Baskin in November 2002 at a kickoff party for the newly formed No More Homeless Pets organization. He joined Big Cat Rescue soon after as chairman of the advisory board. He proposed to her in November 2003, and they married in November 2004. In October 2020, Baskin came out as bisexual. Chapter 4, Joe Exotic Feud and Tiger King Baskin has a long-running feud with Joseph Allen Maldonado Passage, the former owner of the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park in Wynwood, Oklahoma, who goes by the nickname Joe Exotic. Joe Exotic claimed that Baskin was involved in the disappearance of Lewis. Exotic engaged in a pattern of harassment against Baskin, including trademark infringement. In 2013, a court ordered him to pay Baskin $1 million in damages, leading to his bankruptcy. In 2020, he was convicted of attempting to hire a hitman to kill her. In June 2020, a federal judge granted Joe Exotic's former zoo property to Baskin and Big Cat Rescue on the basis that Joe Exotic fraudulently transferred the zoo's real estate to his mother to avoid creditors, particularly Baskin's judgment against him. Jeff Lowe's current zoo operation on the property was given 120 days to vacate the property with their animals. In November 2019, Universal Content Productions announced that they were adapting a Joe Exotic podcast for television, with Kate McKinnon portraying Baskin. In March 2020, Baskin was featured in the Netflix documentary Tiger King. She later spoke out against the series, calling it salacious and sensational, and criticized directors Eric Good and Rebecca Chaiklin. Baskin said that the filmmakers lied about the nature of the series when they approached her about it, claiming that they told her that they were going to be making the big cat version of Blackfish. After Tiger King was released, several internet memes targeted Baskin and her speculated involvement in Lewis's disappearance. In March 2021, Baskin announced she was asked to participate in a follow-up to Tiger King, but turned the producers down. She gave the following reason. I told them to lose my number. Fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. The first three months after Tiger King aired my phone rang incessantly with people screaming obscenities. After that it slowed down. I didn't take it personally but it really affected my husband and daughter. If someone said something about someone you love, you would want to protect them. In March 2021, she was interviewed alongside Howard Baskin by British filmmaker Louis Theroux for the BBC documentary Shooting Joe Exotic, during which she discussed Tiger King, and the allegations she murdered Don Lewis. Theroux's documentary was a follow-up on his 2011 film America's Most Dangerous Pets on Exotic and Exotics Animal Park. Chapter 5, Filmography Chapter 5 Section 1, Television